The following maintenance requests and complaints were found on the computer of one Mrs. Doris May, the landlord of the apartment building at 2618 Wayne Boulevard, following the through search of the building by the police. Donald Fitzgerald, Unit 411, January 13. My wife and I moved here for the proximity to the subway and for the cheap rent, but we did not move here so we wouldn't have a working stove. I did not plan on eating takeout for the remainder of my tenure at this building. I demand maintenance come down at once and fix this. Unacceptable. January 24th. And now the refrigerator isn't working. The refrigerator temperature should be at a nice cool 34 degrees Fahrenheit. But try as we might, Patricia and I have been unable to get it below 36 degrees. So our, now our milk is spoiled. The cheese is molded. My yogurt is inedible. And my beers are not chill the way I liked when I get home from a long day at work. Once again, I demand a maintenance representative to be here tomorrow to fix this. And not the same man as last time. Jose was rude and did not even apologize for all of the inconvenience when we yelled at him. February 8th. It seems we can't go a single day without finding something unacceptable about this building. At night, both Patricia and I hear a faint but constant thumping in the walls. What is that? I demand to know why we cannot get some peace and quiet. February 12th. If our Wi-Fi drops out in the middle of Patricia's stories one more time, there will be hell to pay. Get the ISP down here now to increase our speeds. This is insane. February 18th. It appears my previous demand went unheeded. Last night, the thumping was far worse. It sounds like a ghost is living in the walls. Patricia hates ghosts. They are rude and uninvited and do nasty things like slam doors and break china dishes. Get a job, ghosts. Patricia can't sleep in these conditions and I hereby demand an exorcist to be brought to the premises to deal with this at once. At once. February 27th. The refrigerator is acting up again. I thought this was fixed. The expiration date on my milk says use by March 3rd, but it is not March 3rd yet, and it's already my milk is starting to smell. The temperature is 36 degrees and rising. Unacceptable. March 4th. So today I came home from work and go to hang up my coat. And what do I find? A bouquet of flowers from the downstairs office thanking us for being dream tenants who always pay rent on time. No! I found a cold spot by the bedroom door. The air is an acceptable but not ideal temperature throughout our apartment. But by the door to our bedroom, there is a cold spot. This indicates the presence of a spiritual entity, and I do not pay $1,800 a month to be haunted in my own home. Unacceptable. I demand this be dealt with at once. At once. March 7th. Thank you for fixing the stove. But I do not appreciate how Jose made me feel stupid for not knowing about the pilot light feature.
future. I expect he would be reprimanded appropriately. March 11th. Yesterday I had a run-in with Paul Shermerman from down the hall. He was very rude to me when I asked him to stop staring at us venomously whenever we see him. Do you know what he did? He continued to stare as if he wishes harm upon me. I demand to know what would be done about Paul Shermerman. March 14th. So apparently it's not, it is not just Paul Sherman man who is bizarre and rude. Rose Martinez, the elderly foreign woman with maybe five or six teeth remaining from floor three, smiled at us in a very evil looking way that I did not appreciate when I was getting our mail. I demand to know what would be done about Rosa Martinez. March 14th. I know I just submitted a request, but it is 1045 and Patricia is unable to sleep because of her nightmares. She says she could see a black figure standing at the end of her bed with red eyes. Not okay! Was someone murdered in this unit? Answers! March 16th. It is unacceptable that on James Madison's birthday, we cannot get the heat to stay on. The temperature is at 40 degrees. Much too cold. Fix this. March 17th. Still too cold? And do you mind explaining why all of the pictures of Patricia and myself in our hallways were smashed and broken on the ground? I am calling an exorcist since you refuse to do so and rent will be reduced by the cost of his services. March 19th. We brought in a local priest who says that, guess what? It's not a ghost, it's a demon! A demon infests my humble abode as I write this. Do you think this is an acceptable way to run in an apartment? No, it is not. I asked what could be, I asked what we could do about the situation and he says we should leave immediately because if we don't, the demon will latch onto us and follow us around. I am not relocating this soon. I ask him to deal with it, and he says he can't. This is be that it's beyond his ability to fight, and that we need to have the entire building fully blast. He then scheduled a time tomorrow for he and several other priests, rabbits, and pastors to arrive and do a thorough blessing of the building. You will be billed for this! March 19th. Once again, I cannot sleep. Patricia is sleepwalking yet again, except instead of walking down the hall or screaming while still asleep from the kitchen, she is crawling on the ceiling and shouting at me in a very deep voice while her head twitches fully around like an owl. I told her to get down at once and she said, no, she is mine. Excuse me, demon, she is not. I have work in the morning, but what I do not have is patience for this nonsense. Oh, and when I told the demon to let us sleep, it said, F me? F me? I do not appreciate that kind of language, no sir. Then she began hissing and spitting streaming bile onto the bed and laughing maniacally. My blanket is ruined. I am typing this on my laptop from the couch while she shouts baptisms from down the hall. If these priests do not fix the issue, we will be reporting you for this mess. March 20th. Do you mind explaining to me why there are herbs and twigs by my door beneath a sign of a pentagram? I expect this is the work of Paul Schoenerman 
or Rosa Martinez or that nasty Dylan French from Union 221. You need to do a better job picking tenants from this establishment. March 20th. So I came inside and Patricia is gone. Her absence was not arranged beforehand and I expected it has something to do with the demon. This is not okay. When I came home from work, I expect to be able to relax in front of a game show with a beer while my wife knits. But that is not going to be the case of today, apparently. There are scratched pentagrams all over the walls, broken lamps, the lights don't work, the refrigerator door is hanging open, thus ruining yet more milk. More milk gone. And the entire apartment is freezing. I will be doing a full search through this building for my wife, updating you on any unpleasantries I encountered from my phone as needed. And when I get back, I expect Jose would fix the lights. March 20th. It appears that these tenants knew I was coming. I am on 4-3 and they are st all standing outside of their homes, watching me, silently, unmoving, as I walk down the hallway between them. And I believe I smell marijuana from the gay couples' home. Marijuana! An illegal drug that kills millions every year in your building. Do something about this! I will not have the devil's ganja so close to my abroad! If the police contact a SWAT raid looking for marijuana, we will all go to the federal prison. All of us. March 20th. I have decided I cannot obey the presence of such a terrifying drug as marijuana anywhere near my person, my wife, or my place of residence. I have alerted the authorities and they are en route. I apologize if a life sentence for you is inconvenient, but I have no other choice. March 20th. So I asked sweet Mrs. Robinson from Unit 334 where my wife was, and she said the basement. The basement! I go down there for laundry, not my wife! Also, I hear by and henceforth demand that a washer-dryer unit, preferably stacked, although I am willing to negotiate on this, be placed in our unit when this unfortunate episode is concluded. I do not like going into the basement with a basket of dirty laundry twice or three times a month because I have to use the stairs because you can't get your elevator working. March 20th. Why are the lights off on floor two? And where are the priests? All I see are more tenants pointing in unison down the stairs while staring at me like they are in a trance. It smells like rotting corpses and old food down here. Maybe old lasagna, but that was not the case when I left for work this morning. Although, to be fair, I simply walked down the stairs and did not have to venture down this hallway. I also did not notice the arrows painted in blood pointing downstairs. I assume these were put up while I was at work. March 20th. I misspelled the word too, to be fair, my apologies. March 20th. Where's the front door? I am on floor one and the front door is missing. I just used it. Instead, there was just a swirling vortex of impenetrable blackness with blood coming out of it and staining the nice carpet. I expected this would be fixed as I have work tomorrow and need to be there early so I can prepare for a presentation on sales reports from quarter one. Quarter one. March 20th. I have now reached the door to the basement. Why is the world word come 
scratch repeatedly into the word wood here. Unslightly. March 20th. I am on top of the basement stairs. Do you know that there are demonic voices whispering to people down here, saying to come down the stairs with us, join us, join us, join us, over and over again. Why do they feel the need to repeat themselves? This is ineffective. March 20th. The voices are now saying that the gospel is a lie, but I did... I said nothing about the first four books of the New Testament. This is an innervate red herring, and I demand we replace these demons with one who can at least stay on topic. I am here for my wife and not to debate the miniature of Joto Christian Theologery with maleficent spiritual entities who, if I am being perfectly honest, cannot be trusted of the matter because they clearly have a vested interest in me feeling one way or the other as far as this subject is concerned and thus not being objective. If this keeps up, I will be taking my laundry to the laundromat down the block in quarter for the foreseeable future and you will lose out of my business in that department. March 20th. Well, I see now where the priests have gone. Their bones are shattered across the basement and their collective blood is swirling in a vortex around what appears to be a portal to hell in the center of the basement, around which all of the tenants on the ground floor are seated and worshipping. I believe I said very clearly that I did not want hell portals in my place of residence and no one seems to indicate this would be a problem when I signed the lease. If I ever to use those Washington drawing machines again, I expect the gateway to Hades to be closed and the place to be cleaned thoroughly before I do so. The smell is terrible and also demanded the glowing fiery pentagram in the floor beneath the portals to be doused and cleaned off. It is determined to what little decor there is in the basement. March 20th. Well, all of the tenants now see me, but as of this typing have yet to respond to my demands to see my wife. They are simply staring at me and, I'm sorry, where are their eyes? Are eyes not fashionable anymore? How could they see me if they have no eyes? This is impossible and I demand they say so at once. They have no respect for the rules, uh, rules of either this apartment or physics itself. This day is ruined. March 20th. My wife? who is quite unkempt and whose hair appears to be unwashed and who looks like she's possessed by Satan, unacceptable, has joined the group as they speak to me in unison. I'm sorry, when was there a group practice for this performance and why was I not invited? It is quite rude to exclude members of your own apartment from such group activities as theater and Latin classes, apparently. And no so, I assume this strange deep voice they are singing in belongs to the towering horn bass that has stepped through the portal with his pointing a clawed finger at me and approaching me slowly in an aggressive manner that I do not approve. Who is he? Does he pay rent? Do you just let anyone enter this building even if they don't pay rent? And if so, then I demand her hereby henceforth and at once by the power vested in me as the lawful citizen, as a resident of this apartment who is not nor ever has been delinquent on this payment of rent, nor on any other agreed upon expenses that 